Today, I will be ranking the bloated game modes in a tier list. There are four tiers. Elite, Good, Meh, and Why. And also, I won't include Candy Quest because it is just a re-theme of Gold Quest. First up, we have... Battle Royale. This one can get pretty intense at times. It's basically an upgraded version of Classic, which I'll get to in a bit, and with a Battle Royale theme. Even if you would get eliminated, you can still answer the questions and get tokens. Matt tier. Blook Rush. This is the third newest game mode before Deceptive Dinos and Monster Brawl. And basically, you have bins full of blooks and you want to get as many as you can by taking others' blooks. You can also defend your bin too. This is a little bit too stressful for me, especially if the whole class is targeting you. Why tier? Cafe. Food. <laughs> the live version of this mode has some okay music and some cool features, like down here. <laughs> You know what? <laughs> but the solo version is different. There are timers for each order, so it kind of stresses me out. Matt here. Classic. One of the very first game modes. The goal is to answer as fast as you can for each question. If you want to do that, then go to Kahoot! Kahoot even gives you a more precise amount of points. Y tier. Crazy Kingdom. Our second solo game mode today. Basically, people come up and ask you questions. You can say yes or no, and your goal is to keep your levels up. There is one drawback though you can't pause this one and that has made me angry a couple times other than that it's an okay game mode met here crypto hack finally one of the more popular game modes you choose a password and other players try to guess your password to steal some crypto it also works the other way around Alright. You already hacked me and I hacked you. That's hilarious. We guessed each other's password. First try. I feel like this is an improved version of Gold Quest because there is no lose 50% in Crypto Hack. Our first good tier. If you are enjoying the video so far, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button. It's free and it means a lot to me. Deceptive Dinos One of the more newer game modes. This one is themed to dinosaurs. You excavate fossils, but you could also cheat and scan the rocks. Watch out, though, because Bye. other students can catch you cheating. <laughs> There could basically be three types of players. One, the one who never cheats. Two, the one who always cheats. Three, the one who is always investigating others. Good tier. Factory. I think this is one of the most polarizing game modes, in my opinion. The cons. The solo version could get a bit boring, and that's it. Pros, there are these glitches in the live version. Uh -oh. Wait, why is my screen so small? Oh my! Wait, it goes around twice? And my future Spanish teacher, Miss Cohen, 
told me a strategy to get lots of tokens using Factory. I'm keeping it a secret, though. Overall, good tier. Fishing Frenzy. Is there anything wrong with this one? This one is ocean themed, and the goal is to catch the best fish. The numbers are pounds, and there are different things you can catch up. I usually shout when I catch a Megalodon or an Angler's Legend. And kind of like Factory, there are these distractions. <laughs> Lure 5 and a blobfish at the same time. No. Elite tier. Gold quest. We just went from the top all the way to the bottom. Imagine falling from the Burj Khalifa. I don't want to make anyone mad, but hear me out. Gold Quest is bad. You can lose up to 50% of your gold sometimes. No! In one second, you can be in first place. And the next, someone swaps with you. And the game ends. Pain right there. Y tier. Monster Brawl. Bluegit's newest game mode, and one of the most unique. You become a Blook, move around the map, and battle monsters to collect XP crystals. You can also get some cool upgrades too. Wait, before you guys just switch to a Bluegit tab and play Monster Brawl, I must warn you, this is Blookit's laggiest game mode because there are so many entities moving around. I recommend playing this on a high performance device. Other than that, good tier. Racing. A bit too stressful for me. If you want racing, go to Quizlet Live. Although you don't get knocked back in Blookit. Unlike having to restart if you get a single question wrong. Yeah, both are just as stressful, but this kind of mode is only one of two Quizlet Live game modes right now. The other being Checkpoint. Y tier. Santa's Workshop. Imagine going from the bottom to the tippy top of the Burj Khalifa. Yeah, this game mode is one of my absolute favorite. Favorites! It's a good combination of Factory, Gold Quest, and Holiday Cheer. In fact, I did this video right now because of Christmas. There are these sabotages, which work like the glitches from Factory or the distractions from Fishing Frenzy. Dark and dusk. Ooh. It's trees that one time. That's why your screen was full of trees, right? I'm starting to get it. Oh my gosh! What is that? Oh, Canada! Ah! You got it? <laughs> Although the trees one can be a pain. In this game mode, you can take other people's toys and even swap them. And Christmas is the most wonderful time of the year. The only drawback to the game mode itself is that the people who use Blokit for free don't even have enough time to play it in school. In fact, this game mode wasn't for free until the second to last day of my school's first semester. And we had exams for the last three days. Anyways, he's elite tier. Tower defense. I think this game mode is sort of in the middle. It can be fun at times. And in the live version, there is nice music and some interesting game twists. The solo version, however, 
you have health points, and the big bosses could sometimes stress me out. But hey, that's how you know when your run is over, since the live version has the timer, but Solo does not. Met tier. Last but not least, Tower of Doom. Not to be confused with Tower Defense, this, along with Crazy Kingdom, is a solo-only mode. This one can sometimes take a long time to beat, and I've only beaten the Evil King once. This can be fun sometimes, though. It's a good challenge. Meh tier. And our tier list comes to a close. Thank you so much for watching, and Merry Christmas. And this will be the last video I'll ever make of 2022. I'll see you guys in 2023, like immediately when it starts.